Uh, hello, everyone. This is David Smith. I'm at the Develop Conference in Brighton. I'm very pleased to have with me um, a chap called Ian Hughes, um, who is talking uh, tomorrow, I think, about virtual worlds at the Evolve Conference. Um, Ian, please, can you uh, introduce yourself? I certainly can. Thank you. Thanks for having me along. My name's Ian Hughes. I'm also known as ePredator Online. So if you need to Google me or find me on Wikipedia, ePredator is just the little gaming handle. And I am a metaverse evangelist. So I go around and I talk about virtual worlds and how virtual worlds can be used. And game technology as well can be used in all sorts of places in the industry and in games. And it's not just about the end product of the game itself. Uh, fantastic. And I think you've got your own company called Feeding Edge. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. That's correct. Uh, Feeding Edge, Feeding Edge Limited, taking a bite out of technology so you don't have to. There's my plug. I set up Feeding Edge in, in 2009 after having left corporate life. I, I'd spent about 20 years in IBM working in emerging technologies and things weren't going fast enough for me. So I decided to put my money, my, my, uh, my money where my mouth is and be a bit more entrepreneurial. Come out here into the real world and get to mingle with all sorts of other industries like the gaming industry. But I am a gamer as well, so I'm kind of a fan of that whole stuff, not just a techie. And what sort of things uh, are you doing with Feeding Edge at the moment? Well, there's a whole mountain of things, but um, lots of things to do with open source virtual worlds, like there's a particular thing called Open Simulator. That is a thing that we use to build training applications for, for doctors and for disaster scenarios. And that's about immersing some people in those environments so they can train and understand one another. So it's all actually about people rather than about the tech. And uh, I understand uh, you're also on uh, uh, ITV in a, in a program called The Cool Stuff Collective, which I think is in its uh, second series. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, this particular program? Well, The Cool Stuff, it's, it's getting ready for its third series, actually, which is great. It's a gadget and game show for 7 to 12-year-olds. Uh, I turn up as as super geek um, to try and help kids understand some of the, the future of the technology that's already in their hands. So the same things I go into a boardroom and tell the grown-ups about, I tell the kids about on this show. And then that lets them go into school and, and go back home and say, why aren't we using this stuff? Why aren't we creating films on YouTube? Why aren't we using virtual worlds to do stuff? Why aren't we doing articles on Wikipedia? All those things are there for the next generation to take and bring back into the workplace as well as have some fun with. Fantastic. And uh, I also understand that you're involved with the uh, uh, British Computer Society, the BCS, uh, as chair of the Animation and Games Industry Group. Uh, what's, uh, what happens there? Well, the, the BCS is a, a professional body for, for people in the information technology industry. And traditionally, they've been more into uh, kind of big IT like banks and, and kind of those sort of systems. But there's a load of us that are saying, well, the technology behind running these huge games, the things like World of Warcraft and things, are bigger than some of these, these banking things. So we're trying to help, and as a group, we're trying to help the BCS understand where games fit. We're also trying to reach out into the games industry that doesn't necessarily have the same career structure that maybe corporate IT has, and to try and give some value to some people to say, it is all right to be a techie and to be a senior techie. And I'm a techie, so I, I, it's not all about stopping what you're doing and becoming a project manager. It's about keeping your experience and flowing it through and building onto that career. And great. And finally, um, Ian, what advice would you give a job seeker looking to um, get into the, the games industry as a, as a first job? I would say just get on and do things and share things. There are so many ways to put your portfolio if you want it, for want a better word. Write some games in Unity, just put them on a website somewhere. Make some videos on YouTube, write about things, blog about things, share everything that you're doing. Because if somebody's looking for you now, they will Google you and they will try and find out what you've been up to. And if you've just got stuff dotted around from the moment you got interested in games, whether you're reviewing a game, whether you're building things, whether you're doing some art, whether you're doing some sound, People will find that and they'll say, hang on, this person hasn't just dropped in it because they think it's a convenient career. They are passionate about it. So use all the tools out there and share. Ian Hughes, ePredator from Feeding Edge Limited. Thank you very much. Thank you.